What's up guys, I'm Death Infinox Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making a chain blitz build and this time this build is crafted to be able to do the Reaper Stance, the slamming attack more frequently than the other build. So it goes as much as 140% faster. Let's just check it out on this Karabat right here. And kaboom. Let's keep hitting. The specialist ready again. Let's slam. Kaboom. The specialist almost ready again. And the specialist ready. And kaboom. I missed. That is a very bad miss, but that's fine. The behemoth is dead anyways. Okay, there we go. As you can see, this build can help you use your special faster than any other chain blade builds. Why? Let's check the perk summary real quick. So we can take a look at the unit effect of these stone blades. After dodging through an attack, your attack gains 100% bonus meter for 3 seconds. So every time you dodge through attack, you can build your momentum, the stack of your Reaper Stance, faster. 100% means 2 times faster, combined with Energized, which gives you additional 40%. That's why you can recharge your momentum, the stacks of Reaper Dance, faster than any other weapon. And then we are going to go through the catalyst for your astro attack speed and evasive fury because we would want to evade through attacks because of this unique effect. So evasive fury is actually pretty good because you can get astro attack speed while you gain 100% more meter on your attack for 3 seconds. Okay, So cunning, pulse and discipline for your critical, predator for astro damage. And here's the equipment and it is that some of you are saying that I'm going through the builds too fast. So here you go, I'm going it slowly. The time with helmet with pulse, the Koshai's body with energized, the storm claws arms with evasive fury, and the chronovore's legs with cunning. Here's Koshai, just for extra lifesteal. If you don't want to use Koshai, you can always switch to Pangar or Skarn. Drust would be a good choice as well for a quick burst. But since we don't have seal, it won't be a burst at all actually. So here's the equipment, cunning and evasive fury with reaper stance and lightweight chain. So lightweight chain can help you rege regenerate additional 20 meter when you hook to a behemoth. But if you don't want to use this one, that's fine. You can always switch to hurricane blitz. But as you can see, I did not do any blade spinning attack. So I don't think that's quite good. Another Karabat showed up, but no way I'm going to fight the same behemoth. So let's go fight the Charok instead of Koshai which is level 13 and it's pretty low. I'm afraid that it will die too fast which causes my video to be too short. So let's take a bit Rito to the Charok. Alright, here we go. I wanted to take that treasure, no! That's quite a harsh landing. Always remember, don't be greedy. That's what this treasure taught me. There we go. Alright. Let's go to chat up. As always, the tonic. And let's hook ourselves to the beamers and let's start shooting. God, this one is very tough. I forgot that heroic. Chadok has tough fights. There we go, and kaboom. 100% more meter. Look at that momentum filling up. Kaboom. Boys angry. Alright. So what he's gonna do? Okay. Let's do this. Kaboom. There we go. 
Let's keep hitting. Look at that momentum filling up. Oh no, the pulse is not stacked. God. I missed a hit just now. Filling up the momentum. One hit and the pulse is stacked. And there goes our special. The boom. Special is almost ready again. And kaboom. And it's that. A pretty easy fight, right? It's level 15 and level 11. 4 level difference. The normal amount of difference. But it's definitely higher. So as you can see, this build can really build your momentum very fast. So you can keep spamming your special. And... Each special, especially when your pulse is at max stacks, can deal around how much was it? Is it 3k or maybe on broken parts or maybe something else is 7k or on behemoth on the opposite element it can deal around 7k. Yeah, that's that's how much it is. So if you want to build your meter fast with this weapon, you need to always keep track of the enemy's attack. So watch the enemy's attack, evade proficiently and you're going to have your next attack i mean your attack for the three seconds onward to give you extra 100 meter thus helping you with the momentum then you can skip spamming the attack the chain blitz can stagger behemoths very frequently thanks to the slamming attack and since this is a shock weapon you can also shock the behemoths with your with your attacks because your attacks will be a fast flurry of attacks because you're using catalyst and invasive fury at the same time so that was around 40 ish percent 50 percent was the cap it's almost reaching the cap so that attack speed is actually very good that's all for the video i hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe it's free and you can always unsubscribe thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video